Hi, this is Jeff Schiller, and this is part one of two videos in which I'll be describing the new features in the latest release of SVG Edit 2.4. First, some background. SVG Edit is a web-based vector graphics editor that runs in any modern web browser that supports SVG. So this includes Firefox, Opera, Safari, and Chrome. SVG Edit also runs an Internet Explorer with the Google Chrome Frame plugin installed. So version 2.4, codenamed Arbalos, is a significant improvement over the previous release. SV ed SVG Edit has now evolved from a proof-of-concept demo into a full-featured application. In this video, I'll talk about the new path tool and the concept of zooming, and I'll also cover some of the improvements to the user interface. So first up is the new path tool. In SVG Edit 2.3, the user had the ability to create a connected series of line segments, or a polygon. In 2.4, the poly tool has evolved into a general purpose path tool that draws straight lines or curves. To change a straight line segment into a curve, you double click the starting point. And when you do that, you enter what's called path edit mode. In that mode, you can move these control points around to change the shape of the curve. You can also, of course, move the, move the nodes themselves to change the curve as well. You can also make sure that curves are smooth or symmetrical by clicking a button called link control points at the top. And once you do that, you'll see that the, the opposite control point moves at the same time to ensure that you have a smooth curve. Another new thing is that you can add new nodes by clicking the clone node tool and of course delete them. One other thing I wanted to talk about for paths, um, in, in SVG Edit 2.3 you had the ability to draw a, a, primitives like rectangles, ellipses, etc. Um, and now we have the ability to actually change those into paths. So once you click this convert to path button, uh, this thing is now a path that can be edited. Its control points can be moved around. Of course this is a one-way transition. You can't convert an arbitrary shape into a, path, into, a, into a simpler shape. But you can always click the undo if you've made a mistake. So next I'm going to talk about zooming. Um, in 2.4 it is now possible to zoom in and out of a graphic. Zooming can be achieved in a variety of ways. We use the zoom control at the bottom left and here we can enter a percentage or we can use the spinner control or we can pull up the, the uh, pull up menu and select uh, preset percentages. There's also in this menu a, a couple of nice things. Fit to selection actually fits whatever's in your selection into the, into the viewport. Another way to zoom is the zoom tool at the left. Click on the zoom tool and then select the area you want to zoom into. And one final way is using the shift button uh, with the mouse wheel. So um, I'm just holding on the shift right now. I'm using my mouse wheel to go in and out, which on a MacBook is two finger drag. So from a usability perspective, we've also created a document properties dialog. The top left can be accessed here. And in here we have a bunch of uh, things. Some of them are image properties and some of them are editor properties. And these things are, are um, properties that don't need to be accessed all the time, but they're still important. So for instance, we can now uh, provide a title to the, to the document, the drawing. We can also change the shape of, of the, to the canvas. And there's some presets here. Um, in the, from the editor side, um, we're happy that the, the, uh, the user interface in SVG Edit 2.4 is now uh, localizable. So that means it's fully translatable, the, the tool tips, the dialogues, etc. And we have a list of languages where we have, pr have provided full translations. If you don't see your language in here and you're willing to help, please contact us on the mailing list and we'll get you started translating the, the editor uh, UI for us. Another uh, f nice thing is this um, ability to have scalable icons in the editor. So this is achieved through actually the use of SVG and these icons can be, there's, there's a, several modes for them, and this is useful for if you want to use SVG Edit in different um, environments, such as um, even on like a mobile or tablet PC or a netbook, etc. Okay, so that was it for the first video, and uh, there's a couple more things I want to talk about in the next video. One is grouping, the other is layers, and then the kind of the remaining features that round up the release. So please uh, feel free to tune into that video, and thanks very much for your time.